Hi, welcome to Station 23, and you asked to take a tour of the fire engine. My name is Lance Ledekin, fire captain here at Fire Station 23. Come on in, let's take a look. The fire engine carries water, hose, and um, it has three personnel, a driver, a captain, and a firefighter. So the driver sits right up here in the driver's seat, and they're responsible for getting uh, the crew safely to an emergency. If it turns out to be a fire emergency, they're also responsible for pumping water. We'll walk back here. We'll take a look at the pump panel. The driver here is uh, responsible for making sure that all the hose lines are pumped at proper pressure, as well as making sure that they get a water supply. We carry 500 gallons of water in a tank on the fire engine so we can get water flowing right away as soon as we get to a fire call. And then we also send other engines to a call and their, what their job is is to coordinate with the driver and get a supply from a fire hydrant. When the driver gets a supply from a fire hydrant, he uses this intake valve to take that supply using a large five inch hose just like this one here. Firefighters that are going into the uh, fire, are typically pulling these hose lines here that are uh, stacked and ready to uh, be deployed into uh, our fire building. We have several different discharges. and We can have seven different hose lays that can be used to attack a fire. And that's the driver's job is to make sure that water is being pumped at proper pressure uh, for those firefighters that are attacking the fire. In this compartment here, we have different fittings and adapters to connect different size hose lines, as well as other tools, spanners and wrenches to assist us during an emergency. This is the rear hose bed of the engine where we carry most of our uh, hose. This is our inch and three quarter uh, fire tack hose. Right here we have two beds of two and a half inch hose that are set up to be um, attack lines as well. You can see that the nozzles are already, uh, already attached and ready to be deployed. We talked a little bit earlier on the pump panel about taking a supply from a fire hydrant. This is our five inch supply line that we would hook up from a fire hydrant and we'd go from the fire hydrant to the fire engine. So our engine companies also respond to medical emergencies. They're the first uh, unit that's dispatched to a medical emergency along with an ambulance. A lot of times because we are strategically located throughout the neighborhood, we get there um, usually about three to four minutes from, from time of call and um, we're able to provide advanced life support because we have one firefighter that's cross trained as a paramedic at minimum on the fire engine. Multiple times we have um, uh, many firefighters. Today, for example, all three of the, the members on engine 23 are also cross trained as paramedics. So today if they get a medical call, that person um, in addition to getting an ambulance, also gets three firefighters that are all paramedics as well and are getting there typically a lot faster than the ambulance because again, we're strategically located in the community. In this compartment, we carry all of our medical equipment. What we carry is our heart monitor, sometimes referred to as our defibrillator. We have an oxygen bag. And then we have our jump bag that it carries um, all of our medications, uh, bandages, things that we would need uh, for a, a medical emergency. Now we come up to the back riders compartment, what we call it. This is where our firefighter sits. They have their SCBA here. They have all their safety equipment and then they have their seat. Typically they sit in the forward facing seat, um, but
but we do have our rear facing seat with our SCBA in it for when they're responding to a fire uh, related emergency. Um, when they get on scene, they already have their SCBA on and uh, as well as their uh, air or, um, turnouts and safety equipment so they can get out and go right to work uh, upon arrival. And up front here is our officer seat. This is where the captain sits. They have, they're ready to, uh, to be donned uh, when they get a call. They also have uh, the radios, computer up here that gives them other additional information. So as a 911 call comes in, the dispatcher types uh, uh, pertinent information into the computer and that can be viewed in route to an emergency scene by the company officer. The, and that's important because uh, the company officer is gonna be making decisions um, of how to uh, best handle that emergency. And so the nice thing is, is they're gonna be well informed through the radio, but also through the uh, computer and they can communicate that to their crew as well as all the other crews that are responding.